Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive. So if you're looking to do something like upgrade to a faster or larger drive, or maybe your current drive is starting to die on you and you want to make a clone uh, before it goes out, you could use this program to do so. So we're going to be using a tool called Terabyte Image for Windows. So it does a lot more than just clone hard drives. So if you go to their website, you can see everything it does. So they do have a free 30-day trial, and then after that is $50. So if you're just doing a one-time clone, you could technically do it within the 30 days and do it for free. But it does have a lot of other nice features in case you wanted to actually buy it. All right, so what we're going to be working with here is we have our C drive with our typical uh, Windows partitions here, EFI and recovery partition. So this is an 80 gig drive, and then we have this 100 gig drive that doesn't even have any volumes on it, just unallocated space. So we're going to clone this drive to this drive. All right, so when you install this program, you have two options. You have just the standard way, and then you have like an expert or custom option. So you might want to do the custom option because it gives you some additional features uh, when you actually clone the drive. All right, so to start, we're going to open the app here. So there's lots of shortcuts that you'll get when you install this, but you want to look for the one that's image for Windows. See here, it gives you the screen about the trial. You just click on continue. All right, then you want to go to copy. And then click on next. So you got to pick your source drive. So that's this one here with all the partitions. Make sure you check this box so it picks all of the partitions. Click on next. And then we're going to choose this one for the destination, 100 gig drive. Click on next. So it tells you that all partitions on the secondary or destination drive will be lost. So say yes to that. So obviously if you have any data on it, make sure you back it up first before you do this. All right, so here are some of the options you get when you do the more advanced mode when you install it. So we're going to do the one that says scale to fit. So that way it'll use all the space when going to a larger drive. And then for the most part, you should be able to leave all of these as is unless you need to change some of these other settings. All right, we'll click on next. Shows you a summary here. So going from the 80 gig drive to the 100 gig drive. You can actually schedule it too, or you're just going to click on start. All right, so this will take a little while, maybe 10 minutes or so. So it's going to vary depending on the size of your drives and how much data you have on them. So we'll pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, so the process is complete. Actually, it only took about three and a half minutes, so that's pretty quick. So we'll click on exit here. All right, now let's go back into disk management. All right, so here's our original drive here. So we have our 80 gigabyte main partition, and here's the clone copy, and you can see it used the leftovers, so 100 gigabytes. But you can see it's offline, so that way you don't have two versions of Windows uh, if you reboot your computer. All right, so what I'm going to do now is shut down the computer, remove the 80 gig drive, and then power it up with the 100 gig drive, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so we got our Windows logo, so that's a good sign. All right, logging in. All right, so so far so good. Let's go to disk management. Okay, so now we just have our 100 gig drive, the 80 gig drive is gone, and it's using all the space on the larger drive. So you can see it's a pretty simple process. And then like I said, if you just want a one-time clone job, you could do it within the 30 days for free. But if you really like the program, then you know I think it's $50, then you could actually buy your own copy and use all the extra features as well. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download a terabyte image for Windows, and then you could try it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.
Thank <laughs> you.